Well, we really love to begin our meetings like that. Shalom. Shalom to everybody. And very, very welcome to this meeting. Um, on behalf of Mashaf, the Israeli Agency for International Cooperation and MATC, Mashaf's Center for Agricultural Training, we are so, so happy to welcome you all from uh, around the world. And thank you, thank you very much for joining us today. My name is Evelyn Rosenthal. Uh, I am the Deputy Director of AMTC. And together with me, my colleague, Ora Rabin, we will be both managing uh, this online meeting uh, today. Uh, may a lot of people here, we are already 201 people here together. Uh, many of you have been with us here in, in Shvaim or in Israel or in, in other centers, but mainly for those who don't know us, uh, MATC, Mashaf Agricultural Training Center, Your sound disappeared. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello. Evelyn at the mute. Something happened. Okay. Hello. Where? where? Let's thank you. Um, you heard about my name? You were, were yeah. Okay. So I was telling you that uh, a lot of people here. Uh, have been with us, have been are part of Mashaf alumni, uh, or you have been in other centers. But uh, for those who have not been with us yet, um, I would like to tell you that MATC uh, is one of Mashaf's professional centers. We are based in Kibbutz Shfaim, and we are very proud of the 65 years of sharing Israel's agricultural knowledge with countries from the five continents. Mm -hmm. okay. Following, following Mashaf's uh, guidelines. And if I speak about Mashaf, I am very happy to invite Mr. Eyal David, who has his heart in Jerusalem, to greet you on behalf of Mashaf from the headquarters in uh, Jerusalem. Uh, Eyal, you are with us? Yes, uh, shalom and toda, Evelyn, shalom everyone, and thank you very much for joining, for joining us today. It's heartwarming to see all of you from all over the world. Uh, so now I'm uh, at the headquarters of Mashaf, uh, Israel's Agency for International Development Cooperation in Jerusalem. But till recently, I was the deputy head of mission of Israel in Morocco. And before that, the deputy ambassador of Israel in East Africa, based in Nairobi. I don't know if we have any Kenyans or, or Moroccans here, but I'm, I'm very happy to see all of you. Uh, as you know, these are some difficult times that Israel experienced uh, with the ongoing war since the massacre of October 7th. Um, it's not easy. Usually what we do is that we, we do uh, on the field courses uh, in all the fields, uh, especially on, uh, in agriculture, uh, heading, headed by the uh, Center for Agriculture, MATC. Uh, but because of this special situation, we are doing online uh, lectures and online seminars like this one today, headed by Giora, who is the manager, director of uh, our center in Shfaim. We are very happy that we are able to continue our important work of sharing the knowledge and uh, with our friends around the world. So that's what we do today. But we do it on a, on a, on a weekly basis. So I encourage you to see more uh, of what we, we have to offer. Uh, this time, we, we hope that the war will end soon and then we can go back to special to, to our activities on the ground. 
Uh, but till then, we offer uh, online uh, trainings and I encourage you to look at the, at the site of, of AMTC and also of the opportunities that we offer in the Israeli embassies in each uh, one of the countries, uh, your respective uh, countries. So please uh, do follow and um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy uh, this lecture. I hope that uh, the war, as I said, will be, will be ending soon, that our hostages will be, will be back home and that you will be able to come here to Israel to see on the ground what we have done in uh, 73, 74 years of independence uh, and uh, 75, sorry, well, the time uh, is passing quickly uh, and to see what, what we do and how we made the desert bloom that, so that we can share with you better uh, the knowledge. Uh, I invite you all to come and I want to thank uh, Giora and the team, Evelyn and Ora, who is here and the others for, for making this happen. I wish you good luck uh, where whatever you, you do uh, around the world. And as I said, I hope to see you here with us in one of the programs of Mashav in the future. Thank you and enjoy. Yeah, thank you so much. Hopefully, yeah, we are all praying that peace will come again very soon, very soon. Um, but you, I think you, you will have to leave us uh, soon. And I wanted to ask everybody, those who can, to open one second their camera so we can do, uh, with together with you, a picture. So those who can open their cameras, please. Yeah, that's nice. So we can see you all. <laughs> yeah, Daniel, we are waiting for you. Everybody laughing, smiling. Yala, shalom to everybody. How nice to have you with us. <laughs> That's it. I hope you are all very nice in the picture. Thank you. Thank you. Eyal, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, we, we will uh, show you a little, little video uh, telling you about activities from Mashav, especially for those who don't know us for the moment. So let me try to share a little video. Um, telling you about Mashaf's activities. Here it goes. Let's see. Right. <laughs> Take this off, this off. Here it goes. Mashaf, Israel's Agency for International Development Cooperation, was launched in 1958 only 10 years after the State of Israel gained its independence. Mashav was established with the aim of sharing Israeli know-how, innovation, and technologies with developing countries to achieve sustainable development and transformation within their own societies. Mashav's ultimate goal is to bring change, hope, and opportunity for everyone, sharing knowledge and ideas with all. Mashav has been active in 140 countries worldwide, training more than 300,000 people in a broad variety of fields. MATC, Mashav Agricultural Training Center, is responsible for international agricultural cooperation to ensure food security and sustainable agricultural development. METC, Mashav Educational Training Center, focuses on education at all levels, including education for sustainable development, teachers' training, and curriculum development, programs for youth at risk, education for science and technology, young leadership, and a comprehensive drug control strategy. MCTC, Mashav Carmel Training Center, is dedicated to the advancement of women's leadership innovation and entrepreneurship, gender equality, and women's empowerment. Mashav initiates active dialogues with fellow nations and international organizations, 
creating partnerships for development all around the world. We place people at the heart of development. We invest efforts in our human capacity building, working with local stakeholders and communities to develop innovative and creative solutions to overcome pressing development challenges. In alignment with the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda, we are committed to continue empowering fellow nations in the fight against poverty and inequality, to overcome development challenges, and achieve a better future for all. That's about Mashaf, and uh, hello and welcome. In the meantime, lots of people came in, so those who came late, please afterwards have a look to the video. Um, so today we are very proud to host engineer Giora Tesler, who will share a bit of his vast agricultural field experience with you. Giora is a senior agricultural expert, presently our director. He has been leading agricultural projects in Asia, in Euro-Asia, Africa, and Latin America. In 2021-2022, he has been Mashaf's agricultural envoy uh, for Guatemala and Central American countries. Uh, he came back to Israel and we received him here in Kibbutz Faim in the center as our new director. Uh, now, uh, Georda, welcome. But before, before I pass you the mic, I would like to tell everybody here that uh, the lecture will be recorded. So don't worry. Okay, the video will be ad um, uh, available. Sorry on our YouTube page and Facebook page, uh, okay? Um, if you have questions, uh, please, please write them down or, or we, will, we will give a space for questions and answers at the end of the lecture, okay? So uh, write them down and then we will uh, answer some of the questions. It's depend on the time. Um, and uh, well, I think that's it. And it's now my big pleasure to invite Giora to introduce us to pest and disease monitoring. Giora, the floor is yours. The microphone, Giora, you have to open microphone. Giora, your mic, your microphone. Oh, wait, 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 second, sorry. No, Giora, Giora, we don't hear you. Wait a minute, what happened? Rega. Wait, Gyura, one second. You you hear Gyura? Ora? You hear Gyura? Wait a second, sorry. One second. Ulai ba ba microphone at smo ba ba davara ze. Ah, ine ine ine. Aksha fak sha fak sha. Beseda.
Hello. Yeah. Ah, uh, good. Okay. My technician, Aura. <laughs> what, 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 what would you? What would we do without Aura? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, if you can put it on presentation, yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we are. So, hello again to everybody. Uh, hello to the listeners. Uh, I'm going to give you a lecture. Uh, I will try to finish it in 45 to one, one hour. Um, and we shall start. You know, this isn't past monitoring. It's a part of the plant protection. Because the plant protection is a thing that... It's a very big one. And uh, now, to my opinion, the, 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 the monitoring is the first act that you've got to do when you talk about plant protection. Because you this way, you will, first of all, put less insulins to protect your uh, uh, field. And in the end, you'll get also big or a lot of yields and quality yields. The system pass monitoring is mainly a, a, a concern to uh, pesticides that are used to protect food and non-food uh, uh, elements. Uh, but the pesticide could be a pesticide, chemical pesticide or organic pesticide. But as I know for the, a lot of experience that you can't get to a, a, a good uh, plant protection of uh, uh, plants without using pesticides. But the, uh, the monitoring system promotes you to use effective pest control method. It means uh, drill with the problem with less chemicals. How do you do it? You uh, make the monitoring and see the trouble before it comes or see trouble when it starts to uh, uh, act uh, at your field. Now, in the world, it is the PIPA, the Integrated Pest Management, is defined as a pest management system with the intention of preventing pests from reaching an acceptable level or reducing an existing population to an acceptable level. This is a, a, a subject that is uh, worth two, three lectures, but I tell you uh, in two words, it's good system, it's a good uh, uh, de definition, but uh, you've got to have more, uh, more, um, uh, 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 not a, you have to start digging in it, and sometimes to people, uh, it's too much uh, 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 get inside it. So I'm talking about generally monitoring the disease in the, in the pet, and uh, I will tell you afterward what what that IPM means. But in fact, and the disease monitoring is monitoring, sampling the, the, the sample of, of disease or, 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 or evidence for, for insects, exploring to see whether it's a big or a small quantity, and controlling. Controlling you can do by pesticide, or by any other things that you will uh, uh, you will see in the next uh, uh, in this uh, lecture. Now you see in the left side there is a, a corn field. It, 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 it's uh, two months, three months old. It looks green and it looks clean, but it could be with uh, diseases and with uh, insects. You've got to monitor it and see if it's really clean. Second. The part of the plant that is very important to the plant, like we have the art, and without the art we can't live. The plant got the roots. The roots is a, 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 a thing that it needs in order to grow. Without the roots, nothing will grow. The roots receives and gives. And in the right the picture, you've got a, 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 a field that is infected with disease or with uh, um, uh, insect that uh, in the, uh, the, 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 it cause the farmer to lose the money. Now, we do the controlling, the monitoring of the uh, field in order to let us to get to 
the yields and to quality because let's say we always work for the money. Every uh, farmer, as much as he loves his uh, animal or his plants, if he doesn't think about money, so he should leave agriculture. Uh, so to control as a pre-treatment for not getting uh, things like we see in the right picture and to prevent so there will be a, a green field with a lot of fields and, and quality. And it's income, it's the money. So invest in things that you will see about uh, monitoring. In fact, it's a profit for the farmer. Uh, I, I show you uh, um, uh, um, a thing that it could be for animals, for trees, for uh, for uh, everything that's growing. But in the chain of growing, for example, for for vegetables, the most important thing in every every plant is the seed. Now, if you put a seed that is infected, you will get an infected seedling, and in fact, the seedling will bring you an infected plant. And you won't see the end. That is the table of the customer where you get the profit. So when you start something, you want to see in first the customer table. That what gives you the money. Okay. So you've got to take care of all the chain and see that all the chain gets the right plant protection and more controlling or or or. or uh, um, uh, uh, keeping and walking around the field, yeah, that gives you a way to know what you've got in your field, how much, how quantity of uh, 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 of uh, um, uh, disease or or insect you've got, and if you have tried and found those things and prevented them so we will get to a full size of product and to quality product and get the money so again it's the money and uh, now there is a the the the, 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 the triangle that's a pathogen and that's the ooze and that's the environment because every pathogen or insects are connected to environment and from the environment the temperature is the thing that cause a plant to grow in such place or not to grow in such place, uh, of uh, disease to appear or not appear, but it also the extreme weather, the moisture, and the host. You know, we don't live in a place where we live in uh, where we will field, and around that there is a clean area. Usually, when we grow, we have the, 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 the field of others, of our, our field, or a forest, or something from the nature. And when you don't grow, and you think, okay, there aren't any uh, pathogens or any insects, they are. They, they, they are, but in, they are in, the, in, in your neighbors. They, it is in the nature. And when you put it in the field, yeah? The crop in the field, so it will come back. So I say that uh, 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 you have to think always when you grow, when you want a good uh, growing uh, 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 chain, you've got to think before you grow on the area of your field. What are we controlling? Uh, plant protection is developed into a, a control of uh, pathogens, insects, and inside the diseases, there is two kinds of diseases, biotic and abiotic diseases. Now I'm going to explain, uh, explain it. Uh, biotic disease is, for example, viruses or viri that are more, more smaller than virus that they can eat eaten by viruses and then the virus is eaten by, for example, trips, a uh, white fly, uh, aphids, okay? And this is a lateral. This is a lateral uh, disease. It could uh, kill plants. Uh, bacteria. Bacteria are bacteria that are little also like viruses. 
fungi. Uh, now, in plant insects, you've got wildfly, uh, epid, strips, uh, mites, butterflies, worms, nematodes, beetles, many and more. But I'm going to tell you that only wildfly, aphids, and strips can carry the virus that, that we try to avoid. Yeah? All the other insects can't carry virus. These are the three uh, uh, wildfly, aphids, and strips are the three ones that they can only carry the virus. That's why we don't have a, a, a protection against viruses. So we uh, we kill or we control the the host, and the host of viruses is wildfly, aphids, and strips. Now, abiotic uh, diseases are environmentally induced. They are non-living. They could be acclimic uh, uh, factors, deficiency of extra or extra of elements, uh, irrigation problem, toxicity, toxicity of, of plant due to uh, uh, me, not uh, fumigating good or, or, or a lot of uh, chemical that are in the ground. The problem is that the plant can't talk. So the plant can only send us a message and how does it send us the messages it shows us it doesn't say okay i'm i'm sick one i got it and it shows us and difference between any uh, 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 diseases and insects insects they can eat and they can they, they uh, show little evidence but after we control them we get a, a clean a, 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 a field. But with the diseases, the theta fungi to bacteria or viruses, uh, they stay in the plant and they don't they don't recover. And you see, for example, yeah, uh, plants they look the same or look look uh, uh, similar, but they are from different uh, 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 um, um, or, uh, they could be a virus, they could be a uh, deficient of, of uh, elements, it could be a, a virus that uh, kills, it could be a disease, it could be a, all kind, uh, all kind of, 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 of things that together it's called plant protection. But in order to know the plant protection is to, to identify those uh, those signs of the plant, and then try and and, and and I say it's only a part of the plant protection. The other part of plant protection is uh, the um, how do we clean the field, and this is a. Uh, Courses are the courses that uh, we shall we shall pass, I think, uh, and we shall talk about it. Uh, so, a quick tour on on on, on the insects and, and and diseases. They all have life cycle. Yes, the insects and the diseases they they cause damage in every part of its life cycle. Yeah, from the spores. To the end, when they they uh, um, uh, um, damage the plant, and not only that, yeah. Afterwards, they come and do it again, yeah. And when you got a thing like like, like this, I, I don't have a, a pointer, but when you see this apricot, yes, it's already damaged, and you can't sell it, so it's lost in yields and loss in quality, okay? For example, when you talk about insects, yeah, you've got the adult, the eggs, the larva, the pupa, yeah? It could attack every part of the, the, the cycle, yeah? But it, I tell you, around the world, and I've, I, I've seen a lot of farmers from five continents that we've got, uh, but, uh, Australia was in all the other continent, 25 years, and I tell you, people uh, 
don't make a plant protection as they should have made because they treat the insects or the 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 disease when they are already established in the field not when you go and you see one uh, uh, adult uh, uh, what fly and you know okay i've got a now i found one but i'm sure that there are 30 40 in in the field yeah uh, and the what more uh, bad about it that uh, every uh, insect got a, a, a certain a, a, a day that is cycled that it starts from eggs to mature yeah and take make a, a calculation if this example yeah it got 14 days yeah how much you have in three months okay now you kill the mature the adult and you don't treat the eggs and the larva so after six days you will get the same that, uh, adult so again you will lose yields and you will have bad quality and it could attack the plant every part of the cycle from the seedling to the uh, uh, grown uh, uh, a uh, plant this is this is a uh, 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 soya yeah uh, uh, this is sorghum yes but it could it, it could attack everybody in each side of of his uh, uh, cycle and there is a, a difference between a vegetable that you grow 45 days until 90 days even one year yeah and tree that you grow them for for 20 years for 10 years 15 20 30 years that, uh, that's the difference between them. What I get from that, that if you don't monitor and you don't see the, um, uh, the damages, you lose. Now, the possible damages, they could damage the entire body of the plant, root, stem, uh, leaf, flower, and fruit. And I'm talking about diseases and insects. They are both pathogens for me the, 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 and I I know that I can't get rid of all of them but I try to minimize the damage if we had a, a room yeah without windows and without nothing I mean put inside the the, the, the crops or the flowers or the, the, the vegetables and we as human beings don't get inside and touch it you wouldn't have pathogen at all yeah but because we treat them and because we are uh, dealing with open field with treat orchards or with greenhouses we are always a, a, a good source for uh, uh, pathogens uh, it can be little it can eat the plant yeah diseases and also insects it could cause rot it could not infect the plants and uh, uh, and uh, change and their behavior, yeah. Uh, like for example, there is a virus that make the, the plant grow, yeah, little. Uh, there are all kind of, of of diseases in all kind of uh, insects. But in this lecture, I wouldn't tell you uh, about diseases and in in uh, about the insects in 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 particular. That's in another lecture because the Preparing is such a large and big uh, subject uh, that I can't make it in one hour. And even uh, talking to you about uh, uh, pens, uh, they didn't pass the monitoring uh, for one hour. It's a squash, but uh, we'll try to do it anyway. As a principle, all the, the diseases and the uh, insects are influenced by climate factors and the factor that is more important is the temperature the temperature gives you a factor that you can grow or not grow even the 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 the, the, the crops you do it by temperature and the other climate factors they are things that brings you or doesn't bring you the uh, uh, insects and the uh, diseases for example wind uh, for example rain 
uh, metal of humidity. For example, uh, uh, hot, the, the sun comes and burns everything. It's cold, uh, snow, air, yeah. This has, you can't influence the climate factors, but you can somehow uh, get protected because they are, most of them are, I think that you know they might come and you know they might bring with them uh, the bad things, yeah. Now, why monitoring so important? It's a preventive action. First of all, it's saving inputs. And if you don't monitor, you put your money to God. If God wants, you get the full uh, yield with a, a, a good quality. If God wants, <laughs> you get none yield and bad quality. But if you can, by doing this monitoring, help to get to the end of the of the the the, the, the system with clean field, you should do it. Now, it gets information about the progress of the parasite. You know you will get the parasite, and you are every time waiting for it. But if you don't check it, you won't know where it is entered and what situation it is in your field. It gives the agronomy to the producer the possibility about when, how, and what to control. It's all complex. And allowing high yield and quality and money. Killing or controlling. Well, I, I say you, don't, you can't kill a, 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 not an, inse a, an insect a, for sure. You can control it. And I tell you why, because it, what's the reason why you can't uh, uh, kill it? You know, when we die, the insects are the ones that take our, uh, our skin. They will be after us and they will be before us. We are just a part that living in, in, in the world. The pests and the population. Now, we go, okay, I know I will get it. Now, when I will get it, I can presume. Can I protect myself? But I want to know how many, uh, uh, what the percentage of the disease or the insect in my field. It depends on the grown area. You you um, uh, uh, you grow in a, uh, uh, in greenhouses or in tunnels or in in open fields. And you know, greenhouse and open field are different. Yeah, uh, open field it's open field to everything. Everything that goes around in the air, yeah, flies with the wind because uh, insects, insects, as you think that. They got wings, yeah. The wings doesn't make them fly. I'm not talking about butterflies, yeah. I'm talking, for example, about the white fly. White fly, it, it can't fly. It goes with the wind. The wind brings it to you. Now, in greenhouses, you can protect yourself from insects. You can put a net, uh, 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 anti net, uh, uh, in your greenhouse. But you must remember. The anti-net is not stopping you from uh, uh, from insects. It helps you. There are many, uh, many. I don't, I don't know many. There are two or three kind of insects that can come through the old. Yeah, and the Israeli company that in, that uh, invented this uh, net is okay. We should put ninety percent so we can close it more. But it, no, nobody entered. Also there, so the plant died because of suffocated. So they had to go to fifty percent uh, mesh, and that you have uh, the thing that you have a mesh doesn't tell you you won't have insects or uh, uh, the disease in your greenhouse. And the most uh, uh, the other thing that could happen, you won't get any. Uh, insects or, or diseases, but they will somehow get inside your greenhouse. Why? Because of human. I'll tell you afterwards why the human are more the most uh, uh, the thing that give mass uh, uh, more uh, uh, diseases and insects to the uh, 
So now the climatic conditions, temperature, humidity, dryness, uh, this is a, 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 a thing that in open field, you can't control it. In greenhouse, you can control it. But you must remember that putting greenhouses with the anti-humidity machine, with the uh, to eat in the winter, with the uh, cooling in, in, in the summer, it's okay. You could uh, get good production, but you will have to pay more insumes in order to make it happen. Okay? So everything. Everybody got to understand that, it, in fact, it, it's connected to the money you will have to put in the insulin to grow. Uh, now, as I told you, the human factor, yes, is the most, the thing that the most uh, 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 in charge on passing the, uh, the, uh, the Patagons because uh, when I've got a greenhouse, and uh, when I got a, a good greenhouse, all closed. No, it didn't have been all for 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 one millimeter uh, 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 long. Yeah, everything is okay. You've got the ventilators, they got everything, but you've got to remember that you come from the outside to the inside, and you don't know what you bring with you. Okay, so and more. You get one uh, uh, virus in one plant. If you didn't touch it, it could stay three months, four months in the same place, and it wouldn't get all over the, the, the greenhouse. But you come, you touch, you count the, 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 the number of fruit, you arrange the, the cable, you move it one day. You touch, uh, in fact, the leaf, you pass it to the other plant, and that's it. We've got... Uh, the row of an infected with viruses, for example, yeah. All the other are not concerned with us. It's more concerned to the uh, climatic areas for uh, uh, wind, uh, humidity, uh, dryness, things like this. Seeds, seeds. If you, as I told you, if you don't make sure that your seeds are clean. Most possibility that you will get a, 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 a infected seed, and that's you put your uh, your your field on God's decision. Now the plant protection economy, uh, that is that is how much you are willing to invest in 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 in, in uh, uh, controlling the pathogens in your uh, field. Now, what I've seen in the, all over the country is people see an insect when it's big, when it's mature. They don't look before it. And when they get to the point they see it and they decide to fumigate, for example, yeah, so the, the time that they have to fumigate and the quantity of, of a pesticide, yeah, it, it it gets to 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 a point yeah that the insum are so, so big that when you get the money and you take out the insum you get a zero netto or a minus netto but as I told you we all think about the money that we'll get after we work hard yeah to be three months one year twenty years yeah but all of it we don't do it for otherwise we are millionaires yeah. We do it as place to work and to get money. Sampling. Now we start getting inside the controlling and, and, and uh, you have to you have to detect a path that are present. Okay, uh, you get inside the field. You got to get out the greenhouse. Yeah, uh, you have to check what do you get and go as much earlier as you can from the seedling. A seedling could also get the disease, could also get a, 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 um... Now, you, that, you have to determine its population density, how much you get in your uh, greenhouse. Now, you see, there, there is a graph here. Yeah? The EIL is the point, the EIL is the point where the pet population is without control 
and afterwards it will cover all your field and you start losing. The ET is the point that you let them, that, uh, that IPM, yeah, uh, that the point that you let your field have some insect or disease and then you control it or you, you, you spray it or you do something else and it goes down, but it always goes up because the weather changes, uh, uh, the life changes, uh, the For example, a field, yeah, it starts from a little point and then it gets grower. It doesn't there are there are, there are some some sometimes when it's exchangeable uh, uh, cases like typhoon or like a really hard rain with hail, it contains it could appear all over the land. But usually it always starts from one point and it gets bigger. And if you, you get it in the in the little circle, yeah, so you are the one that will win. And if you let it get grower, you are the one that be losing. Now, those are things that you use to sampling. Uh, it, it, it's a magnifying, uh, magnific, uh, magnifying uh, glasses from a simple one to a more... Uh, more suitable to agronomes, and you can finish with a, a, a magnifying a, a glass that is connected to a computer, and you can take a picture of it, and you can go and send to the people from the intelligence service or friend that know about the, the disease and insect, and get the answer because we don't know everything. Uh, and as I told you. This course is not to talk about the disease and insects. It's to try to uh, uh, tell you that uh, monitoring, for me, it's the first thing in, in plant protection. And you can, you can know all the diseases, you can know all the pesticides, you can know everything about the the, the 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 operating but this is the end the important is the in, in, in when you enter the field you will have a green yield and quality and nowadays even they are uh, uh, from uh, satellite or from uh, uh, that they, they take pictures of a uh, field and they go by color, they can tell you what you've got, but this is, okay, this is innovation. But as I tell you, the art of the plant is the root. This is a picture that doesn't tell me how it's the root. This is tell me what is already evaluating between the time it was started until the time you can see the picture. Now, like a tunnel, yeah? You've got a tunnel in the left that seems to me a good tunnel. Why? Because it's with narrow nuts, with the nets uh, against uh, insects in, 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 in the side. It's clean, no uh, uh, weeds, no nothing, yeah? And you get in, in the right side, yeah, you see a very uh, modulized uh, tunnel it's got everything. It's got even ventilators upstairs, yes. But it's got a problem. You see the both sides, they don't have any net against insects. So for me, it's not a greenhouse and it's not a tunnel. It's the same as in open fields because the wind can blow to each side and you. it's a waste to build this uh, tunnel if you don't finish it as it should be. Remember, a closed area, a protected area, is where nothing could get for inside or go outside. The air, yes, it should have air in order to grow. Let's take the wildfire, yeah. You see in the leaf, uh, 
mature, adult uh, uh, wildlife. Uh, it's a pity that I, I can't see you uh, face to face because I've got questions and I, 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 I like when people answer me, but in this uh, uh, equation, uh, I don't, I can't, I can't talk with you. Uh, now, you see, first of all, the wildfly always goes on the bottom of the leaf. There, the place where she puts all the eggs, lava, and pupa. Yeah? And this is a cycle. Okay? Now, if you don't treat her, if you don't control it, if you don't monitor your, 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 your field, yeah? You will have the same what I told you in the, some slides ago. Yeah? You kill the mature one, you'll get the uh, 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 lava, the pupa, in six days, up to, until 10 days, they get to be adult one, and you get other cycle again. And this is, you see this uh, leaf is a, a sort of mold fungi. It causes by, uh, um, I'll say, uh, by by the the sheet okay let's say by the sheet of the white fly okay now what happens you know ants like sugar yes so that's for example a good thing when you go and you see something in the middle of a field it could be a greenhouse could be open field you see ants are going on the branches i think there might be something that they're going to look for yeah you usually find all aphids or uh, uh, fungi, uh, or a uh, fungi uh, of uh, that is uh, the sheet of the of the aphids, uh, wildfly. Uh, but take the cycle of the wildfly. You see, as I told you, yeah, you've got to treat every part of the cycle. Yeah and not wait for the adult one. Because before the adult ones, yeah, the eggs and there is the pupa and a larva and a pupa, yeah, and it's between 18 to 28 days, yeah, from an egg to an, um, to, to an adult. And if you, again, in all the insects, the same, if you treat against the adult, you miss the eggs and you miss the larva, you get it again. Now, the problem is that the, uh, the, the pesticide, there isn't only, I think, about one called Fordenia that can, can, can deal with eggs, larva, and, and adults, yeah? But there isn't, and there isn't in the world, pesticide that deals with these uh, eggs, larva, and adults. So you have to put, yeah? Wait. You have to put... Uh, two, three uh, pesticides when you when you uh, fumigate. Now, they are in, in the pesticide that are systematic and regular. Systematic is something that gets inside the plant and stays three weeks, four weeks. The other kind of pesticide, those are pesticides that it touch, and there are all kind of 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 of, of, of pesticide, but always try. To put systematic pesticide, yeah, there aren't a lot of them, but you can put in them and put them in, in, in a plan. I will show you. You have to uh, spray it when you uh, you know that the insect is there. For example, if you spray and you don't have the leaf come come up and uh, uh, like like a like a ventilator, so you spray on the top of the leaf. And you didn't touch the under of the leaf. You didn't touch neither the egg and neither the uh, lava. Uh, if uh, in if for example, trips trips are very uh, very uh, um, uh, they look for the flowers. Yes. So if you don't uh, check the flowers, yes, and if you don't spray on the flowers, you won't get it. So it's. It's very important to know where to spray, to know what pesticide to use, to try to use pesticides that are systematic. 
If the time of spring, you've got to spray in the afternoon when the night comes, so it got more hours until uh, 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 the night comes. Yeah, and the night, the 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 liquid can dry. You spray it at, at noon, yes, because it's more convenient to you, and the the uh, 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 liquid uh, dries. So what do you get? You get nothing. Now the pesticide family, you know, in every pesticide there is common name and generic name. But all these things are more connected to plant of think about are very important, yeah. Uh, in the pesticide families, it's there is a common name that the name that uh, it sells every country a different name. And the generic name that it all over the world the same generic name that's the uh, uh, main uh, subject of the the the, the pesticide that uh, makes the uh, the the the, the uh, that is the op operating uh, side uh, and you know many people uh, don't know it and they think that if they buy a, a, a pesticide that is called A. And the pesticide that they call B, and it didn't check the generic name, so they, in fact, they uh, fumigate the same, the same uh, pesticide again every week, and it doesn't help, because I'll tell you why. Uh, I said I have it in the in the next uh, slide. So you gotta make a, a take the calendar. You know, every week. In the year, there is 52 or 50, 53 weeks, depends on what year you, you it did. But every week, you got, got, got the number. Yeah? Now, you see the, uh, uh, I don't know, you see the dates and then the number of weeks. And you got to make a formulation plan. Because if you don't make a plan, everything, in everything, when you make a plan, because if you don't make a plan, you uh, forget things. You make a, a, a very dangerous uh, uh, action of fumigating. Because, you see, these are the, the, the generic names. And this and this have a different uh, activity. If you spray this bufazine, bufazine, and the next week the same thing, so you, you get a resistant pesticide, it resists a pesticide development. Yeah, you can see here, you see a mite, you spray against the mite, you resist, it's done because of spraying the same the same uh, 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 pesticide yeah and it doesn't help so you spend money you spend time and you get nothing so it's very important to uh, uh, make a, a plan that I always make a plan a hero plan all the year every week I spray against something that I even don't know for example here I uh, what fly white fly lava and egg, white fly ma um, uh, mature. Next week, a white fly, yeah, mites that, for example, this uh, uh, pesticide can kill them too, all mites and, and white fly. And uh, I spray uh, also against the uh, worm, yeah. But you see that I spray liquid in the upper, upper and a uh, uh, ground in the uh, bottom one. It's for me to make sure they don't uh, chemically they don't uh, uh, make problem and afterward I don't get nothing from that spray. You see, uh, you see, you know, uh, in open field, yeah. Uh, the problem is the trees. You see, you, I, I can't. Maybe you see the the. The flash, but there there are trees around the 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 rules. 
yeah and if you uh, live in a, in a place where everybody uh, have a field so this field is yours and the other field uh, belong to a neighbor and to a neighbor and if you don't keep that everybody uh, uh, monitoring and fumigating and it ought not uh, 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 well done so you fumigate and now we week after you get it full again okay uh, there are for example um uh, flowers that are flowers that are called capture uh, uh, flowers yeah and they uh, capture for example uh, this is a strawberry uh, greenhouse yeah and uh, he has the uh, trips yes and this is the evidence of trips you know you know what is the, those points the trips uh, pushes his nose to get water from the leaf and this way he gets inside the the the, the plant the virus in the same way he drinks water he gets inside without it doesn't have an intention to hurt you but it is automatically so but for example what i found yeah you see in the uh, right uh, picture you see those are capture flowers and they uh, invite a uh, trip yeah but what did this guy and you see he in guatemala and uh, never mind the company because we've got people from guatemala listening uh, it is a, 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 a strawberry greenhouse yeah uh, and inside the greenhouse he put those uh, capture plants yeah so that is stupid it's stupid because i showed him come with me and i show you around the the the, the, the line full with the uh, 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 trips so instead of putting them outside so they wouldn't pass it inside yes he put it inside the greenhouse yeah he got three four times doubled the quantity the uh, of of a uh, trip he paid three times four times more than that to pay if he wouldn't put this plant this for example a good a, a, a good way how to protect yourself yeah but doing it the wrong way and uh, uh, okay so this is a, 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 a an open field and you see everything can fall on it everything can work on it and it doesn't have no protection and this is the the a picture of the of the strawberries when uh, uh, when a trip uh, got inside the flower you see it's uh okay how to control upon entering the field perform a quick visual examination of the field the sampling pattern for the yield should be in w u yeah you see w or u you yeah? uh, a square shaped field in a long and narrow field or a zigzag or that in the more uh, is more efficient now when you do a w you do a u or you walk around don't walk the same way every day start in 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 one way and the next day do it another way so we can cover all the field so it depends how big the field yeah uh, you should uh, uh cover all your field that's for sure how you do it you you you, you decide or you do it alone or you do it for, with 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 uh, workers but if you don't work in this way you don't control your field walk a few rows in the field before sampling the first plan to avoid edge effect because uh, you know, in, in, in the edges of the field, it's also more possibility and they are very little and they don't grow because they, the water doesn't that they get in the right pressure because the uh, fertilization doesn't get uh, in good quantity. Uh, but you usually leave, you watch the, the, the samples from the edges, but it's more important for you to get to the... Uh, 
center of the uh, the field, and more or less when you, for example, when you have an open field, yeah, you it, it, look at the edge, and three meters from it there is a a, a, a weeds uh, or trees, and usually they come from this area to the field. Now, the more plant sample in the field, the more variable sampling data you will get. You will know by that how much is the population of the insect or uh, uh, it is in your field. Where to look? They did an insect and the distribution of the disease or insect in the field. It could be anywhere down, up, near the, the roots, near the branches, near the leaf in the flowers and inside the flowers. Location of sign of the diseases in plants, you know. For example, plants, no plants, insects, that's more. Insects, when they visit, they, they leave an evidence. For example, this is the right one, the left one is a trip, yeah. You see the, the, the sticks, yeah. And the, the same is the uh, middle picture that it is a trip that visited a flower. Yeah, and on the right, right side, yeah, you see, like in the first picture I showed you about the 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 the, the cone, you can see outside is a good green cone, but then you go inside, you see, oppa, I found a, a bug, yeah, for the, an insect, and if there is the mature one, I'm sure, I'm, I'm be sure that there are eggs, and there are lava, and there are all the the things that are in 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 in, in uh, insect cycle, yeah. For example, you see um, um, leaves, yes, that some somebody is eating it, and you, you are in the daylight, and you don't see no uh, 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 insects near near you or near the plant. But be sure that the insects like to to eat at night, yeah. Uh, so dig in the ground or check it in the late afternoon and you will see them, yeah? When there is evidence, it exists. Uh, as I told you, ants, you see, these are, these are the, the, the aphids. They make farms of aphids inside the plant. So whenever you see... Uh, Ants going up the stem, the stem. Be sure that I, you can find the uh, aphid. For example, uh, an evidence of a disease. Yes, you know, on the uh, right side, on the sorry, on the left side, you see a green uh, leaf. In the middle uh, picture, you see something that is a little bit yellow. Yeah, on the right side, you see. A, 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 a disease, yeah. But if you check it in the beginning, yeah, from the start, like in the middle uh, uh, picture, you can avoid yourself getting a disease because on the right side there is a disease, yeah. And and uh, um, and this leaf would fall and wouldn't bring you nothing. To the to to for, for the growing uh, system of the plant is a a, a, a leaf that it stopped being green. It's a loss of a, a of a, a part of the plant, and it affects the the uh, the growing of the plant. Now, as as I told you in in a few words, I'll tell you in the field there could be a you can read there. One is a clean field, yeah, and six, this uh, is an infected yeah, field, and all the rest are in the middle. Now, for example, uh, two, uh, that, that is randomly, uh, but in uh, four, for example, you see that could be a start of a disease, a start of insects. Uh, five, you can see it's a, I would say it's a virus. Yeah, or it's, it's something happened, uh, uh, something happened to the irrigation, something happened to the, in the, the, the to the fertilization, uh, something happened for the in, in the in the in the fumigation, 
yeah, uh, it could tell you a lot about the, the state of your field. And this is one of the things that is very important for you to save your field and to stay at number one and not to get to number six. Uh, location of sign of plants, yes. I wouldn't pass on all the, the but I tell you, it, it, there is a, a, a top of the plant, yeah, uh, that is usually, usually uh, either virus or a deficient of, of, of elements. And there is the young leaf, it's something the same. And there, there is random damage, there is mature uh, leaf, leaf uh, on the side of the, 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 the plant, and all the foliage is, is, is infected. So the thing that you have, you've got to see, you don't have to look, see a leaf, see, okay, this is infected. Okay, how is it infected? What is the... <clears throat> and the same is with leaf, you know, uh, all kind of diseases, it appears uh, different. Uh, eight, yes, number eight is usually a uh, deficient of, 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 of uh, uh, nitrogen, or, uh, or other kind of, of uh, elements, uh, it, you've got to remember, every disease got a way of showing, yeah? And if all diseases were the same, so we were losing here something. But God decided that every plant will have a different kind of uh, insect and, 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 and disease, and we will show differently. That thing... It's more connected to the plant protection, and uh, we shall make courses to, to recognize those kind of, of signs. Now, in the, the same with, with the roots. If, if the root color, if the main root, it's secondary root, if the, the soft letter, the, the root air, you know, the root, the air are the one that in, that's in charge on the, 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 the thing of the plant sucking all the water and the, 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 the element from the uh, 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 land, from the soil. Uh, if you don't have those air, so we can try it tomorrow, but you wouldn't have any, any pump that would suck the water and the, 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 the elements from the soil. And that's what happens, that uh, the plant Stop being uh, uh, white. Stop being a uh, uh, use of the plant, and you see only the top. The top is the way to the plant to show. But if you don't dig inside, if you don't think about the, the root, so you're losing something. Insects, they they way before us, and they're going to be here after us. They cannot DDP, but they can be controlled. That's what I say, killing and controlling. Uh, control, find, think, and attack. Yeah, it's simple, three words. You can find it, you can think what to do, and then attack it. Don't find disease today, and after two weeks start operating. That's a loss. Find, where, how, what, register, everything, because You've got to register, and you've got to, uh, uh, next year when you, or next season, when you get the same, you know that you will get it, or you know what you've done, yeah? And after you uh, treat it, we got to check again if it didn't come back. Bad insect and good insect. Oh, you know, for a mite, for example, yeah? There are uh, good insects that come and you see they eat the mice yeah a very good system very good system a system that could, that could help you help you save a little bit in your insects yeah but uh, i tell you uh, that this is an insect it, it's a good or, or bad it doesn't uh, uh, concern but every time you you, you fumigate You've got to take care that you don't fumigate and kill this insect that you paid money for it. Yeah. So it's a good thing, but the world is not ready until now to the thing of good insects and bad insects. And um, 
Uh, there are companies and, and, and there are places that you can do it, but when I'm talking about agriculture, that 80% of the culture are poor agriculture all over the world. I'm not talking about the, the, the big ranch or the, the, the big uh, companies. I'm talking about 80% of the agriculture that are poor agriculture, about them are talking, and they can afford themselves um, uh, by those good uh, insects. And the good is that in nature. So uh, in, in nature, if you have an open field, you can you can see them because they are there also when they eat also the, the, the insects. Uh, use your brain because it's bigger than insect brain. Yeah? Remember this. You've got to use your brain. Uh, diseases, they appear due to climatic conditions uh, most of them can be controlled, but not the damage caused by them. You control them, you finish with the fungi, but what she did, you can't replace it. That's the difference between the digit and, 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 and insect. Insect, there was a, a, a something on the leaf. You spray or you kill, you kill it. It's okay. But a disease, it's already here, and you can either you can take out the, the, this uh, leaf because it doesn't help the 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 plant for nothing, but it will, will always stay. Some of them are mortal, the virus and the bacterial, yeah, by the, the bacteria that is mortal and virus is mortal. Uh, weak plants are uh, weak is E A. Sorry. <laughs> as a weak. Uh, weak plants are more sensitive. A plant that is not uh, well watered or well uh, 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 with the um, fertilizer or suffers from uh, cold, suffers from hot, they are more sensitive for the attack of the diseases and also the insects. The duration of the treatment is longer. Okay? In the diseases, you've got to spray sometimes more than you got to spray on, on, on insects because they behave. Uh, but they are predictable. Also, the insects are somewhere predictable, but uh, uh, you can you can know if you've got a, 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 a dry uh, field, if you've got a, a human field, if it got cold, if you got so there, you can predict the coming and the going of uh, uh, the disease. And again, control, find, think, attack. Now, find where how it's the same as as the uh, in the insects, abiotic uh, diseases. But that environmental, the climate conditions are predictable. Okay, you can watch on 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 the internet. You can see one day to five days the uh, 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 predictable weather. What it will be every place in another kind of uh, climate condition. Vulnerability is the result of climate conditions. Climate conditions make all the disasters also in agriculture. Yes, uh, a wind, a strong wind that comes and brings with it uh, thousands of, of uh, uh, white fly and they see a field drip. You got it, all the field. Uh, it uh, uh, cold and uh, uh, everything that it climate condition uh, can uh, uh, affect you. You have to have to make a, a plan according to the focus. Uh, if you know that in two months you will have a frost, so try to plant it earlier. Um, uh, if you know that the, the <clears throat> rain is coming or the sun days are coming, because you know in climate there is the, there is all all of them are written and all of them are in the internet, <coughs> so we can make a, a a plan. Yeah, and I'm talking about a all year growing, a growing half year only. When the rain is in, in in the air, so for me, you start with the loss, you lose money. I'm talking about instead of making one one cycle of corn, yeah, 
make three cycles of corn and buy a simple irrigation system. So you get three times the same yield, yeah, the same money. If you grow only one time because of the rain, so you lose. Uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, it's little, yeah, and I think like frost that could kill you a field or a uh, air that could uh, kill a field also. Uh, but again, find where, how, uh, what, register and check it back. Now, the abiotic diseases that are chemical cause of uh, uh, chemical, pesticide, herbicide, or, or, or management. Now, you can and should be, it can be and should be avoided because those things are done by us. And if you don't control yourself, so uh, the field will, will suffer. Uh, vulnerability also is a result in climate and the condition. It also the condition of the climate is is in this situation, but you can avoid it. You can think, make a plan according to the focus and the management. Okay, the management. I mean, you you uh, take um, a shovel and you shovel in a place where there is a disease, and then you take it out and you pass it inside the greenhouse, and you don't. Take care of the the thing that you 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 you, you worked in a place where, where there is a disease and you didn't clean it yeah with alcohol or with nothing so hello you will have the same disease in your in, in your greenhouse and if you you think a little bit you could avoid it the phenomena uh, originated can be negatively or positively affected by climate and environmental. Uh, phenomena, uh, 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 phenomena, and uh, this I talk about it. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, a thing that the the uh, 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 climate uh, and environmental phenomena could all together could uh, uh, affect uh, badly or sometimes positively on uh, fields on plants. It depends in if it's an open field, if it's an orchard of uh, uh, high trees, uh, little trees, uh, if it's a greenhouse, a tunnel. Uh, it's most of the times it is little. Yeah, it means that when you take a a a, a, a climate situation or an environment situation, yeah, uh, and it attacks you, it usually it is little, because if it's not little, it's not a phenomena of a climax and an environmental phenomena. Now, what you can do, Yoda, you see, Yoda, what? You are considering the time, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I, did, I don't know when, disturb, I, but how much time do I have? Uh, well, we 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 should be beginning to finish, okay? Okay, I, 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 I please let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, there are some things you can do against. You can do against the the, the, the for example, uh, yellow strip that is for uh, catching uh, uh, white flies. Uh, and blue uh, sticks that for catching trips, and it doesn't. It's not a, a, intended to to uh, kill them. It intended only to show you what you've got in your area. Uh, it uh, you, there are all kind of of uh, uh, insects that that got pheromones, yeah. And you put the pheromone in in this uh, uh, um, bucket, yeah, and you fill it with water, and the pheromone is uh, giving. A woman, a color, a woman a smell to the insects. So the insects go to the women, and they get inside this bucket and drown. You've got all kind of of uh, things, yeah. And this is only not to kill. This is to tell you how much you've got from this kind of insect in your uh, uh, field. Protected areas, as I told you, yeah. Um, now there are people that uh, put a, a non-woven crop instead of nylon or a, or a 
anti's insect uh, net because it's cheaper, but it's cheaper, but it doesn't give you nothing. Nothing because uh, it's not protecting the uh, rain uh, and it's very, very, very uh, flexible and uh, maybe use anti L net that for uh, protecting young seedling in a, a field that's good but not putting it in in, in, a, in a four uh, meter uh, tunnel because in the end it looks like the, like in the middle uh, uh, picture it's torn and it doesn't give you nothing uh, so it's better not to put it low getting inside the greenhouse without any uh, net, not inside, not outside. So it's like, it's like uh, 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 growing outside. And even this could be more, uh, 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 much bad situation because in the, in the minute the insects or the disease get in this climate, it's a different climate than the outside. So you get more of this. And, uh, when you have a, a tunnel or a greenhouse, I always say put a double door that you enter, close, enter, close, and uh, that protects you for a, against the, a, a things getting inside the greenhouse, like in the in the, in the tunnel with the door. Yeah, uh, you open it, you get it. But if you have a double door, you can protect yourself and uh, all kind of, of um, machines if you get electricity like uh, uh, that uh, it's a uv light to uh, uh, bring uh, the uh, flights to the blue light and then they get close and they get killed or ventilation on the doors inside to give okay now uh, an open field. The problem with open field is uh, from the trees, the, everything gets inside. From the field, everything gets outside. Yeah. From the air, everything goes down. It's open and it's more uh, difficult to protect them. You can protect them by monitoring. You, moni you monitor, you act, and you save yourself from uh, being uh, infected in all the field. Uh, by by example, uh, for example, you see the area where it's a, a shadow. You see that they don't grow. That, for example, another thing that you shouldn't do. Uh, you should get them a little bit of sun so they can grow. Uh, the last picture, if you want to uh, do it more professionally, you make uh, a, a pages. I did it myself, yeah? and every time I go, I give to my uh, people, at, at, I decided that one of them will be the, in charge on monitoring the field, and I give him, uh, for example, the white fly, the mature, the egg, the larva, and what it, it, it's due to the plant, yeah? And it goes, I make a, a kind of a, a I cut the pages, everybody goes together, and he edit it in a, in a, the same as you need in, 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 to put in a, in a packet of, of a t-shirt. Yeah, of a, of a, the, and that's a good thing because they learn and they, 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 they will uh, check it and know it and treat it. So that's, for example, that's a good, uh, a good uh, situation. Now, Thank you for listening. Any question? Oh, Gyoda, thank you so much. <laughs> they, all, they all fall asleep or left? Uh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see it. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see many people here anyway. And, okay. Uh, well, before, you, before I ask you to... Um, to close your presentation, uh, 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 maybe you can write it down in the chat, Giora, your your email, please. Here's my email. Yeah, okay. You can write it down. Giora Tesla, 
Giora M A T C O I, I, I will I. Note, I will write it in the chat for everybody. Maybe it will be easier. Okay. O I L. Oh. Okay. So uh, yeah, anybody uh, wanted to contact? There are still people coming in or falling. Well, um, hello again to everybody. So Giora, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, well, I I liked very much uh, one of your comments. Think our brain is bigger than the brain of the insect. This was very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's one thing I did good. <laughs> <laughs> this was good. This was good. Well, there were some questions, very interesting. There were questions, but there were also answers in the chat. So thank you. Thank you very much for all those who uh, added uh, their knowledge and their experience. Uh, interesting, the, inter the, the comment about the frogs. There was somebody asked if you can use frogs frogs for treatment and uh, I understand there are some people who have uh, experience well I, 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 will t I will tell you uh, I've seen a lot of animals and a lot of places but the first time in my life I eat the frogs it's a little bit uh, I don't know <laughs> that's the truth I don't know uh, because frogs bring with it a, a thing that uh, it sometimes could um, I don't know, could damage the plants. That's what I think. But, but some, uh, somebody, somebody told us here that he had some good uh, results with frogs. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, okay. I, I, I told you, I don't know about it. Yeah. But uh, I'm willing to listen to the guy. And he could, you've got, you've got my email. Send me, we, we should talk about it. Well, I... In the a special kind of frog or every frog? Okay, right to Giora, okay. Um, um, Giora, we have here one question that was um, not answered in the... Yeah. Uh, what is the... Ilya, Ilya is asking, what is a common mesh screen size to avoid white fly and trips? Okay. Okay. I'm entering look, net house. Look, okay. As I told you, a net doesn't provide, doesn't give a full, secure uh, a, a, a place for the for the insect to enter. Because, for example, as uh, uh, um, uh, trips when it's little, it can pass through the fifty mesh. Fifty mesh is the uh, forty twenty five. 40 mesh and 50 mesh. 50 mesh is the uh, the little one. Over it, it's, it uh, doesn't let the air get inside of it. It, 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 it. It's a bad thing. But the, the point is to use the net as a protective area for not to get every insect that lives outside the greenhouse get inside. Secondly, a net, yeah, shouldn't be touched because in the minute, yeah, you put a net and it's it's a, a, a stretch and you touch it in that this moment you change the the uh, size of the holes, yes, and an elephant could pass through it. Okay, so that that's by the law, but because we can't go by the law. Because they are wind and there are people that touch it, so it's obviously it's not a full uh, uh, um, uh, uh, against the insects. But fifty is the normal, yeah. But again, you don't put the net and you forget about insects. You have to control. You have to check. You have to monitor. But this is a good way to help you. To make the area uh, uh, more clean from insects. Thank you, thank you, Biora. And I think there was another question. 
which could be interesting for many people here. Um, Leonidas asked, um, how can you differentiate if your crop is affected by a pathogen or is it uh, actually an abiotic uh, problem? like a lack of nutrients yeah. or something because sometimes it, symptoms it, are very similar yeah, yeah 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 first of all first of all this is a, a different lecture okay a lecture mm -hmm. but the, the the signs the the sign that the the, the, the plant is trying to give me okay so but i tell you in in in, in few words the signs could be the same for two two uh, 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 actions, yes. But when you get a sign, yeah, you gotta start thinking, yeah. And you start from the outside to the inside, yeah. And you see what was the weather. Did I, it? It was a, a, a cold last night. It, would, it was sunny this day. Uh, did I uh, give enough uh, uh, fertilizer? Did the water good? Yeah. Uh, did I found another evidence for for a, a, a disease or 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 an insect? And then you, you start taking out from the list. See that I, for sure I gave enough uh, fertilizer. I gave enough water. It wasn't cold uh, last night. Uh, 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 people didn't come from inside out of the brought food, yeah. And in the end, you'll get to the point, and you you know how did it come. First, second, if you have got a laboratory, yeah, nearby, I don't know where around the city, around the village, yeah. So you could you take it to the laboratory, okay. And third, you've got a path. I can give tell you you can go to the internet, yeah, for going by uh, 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 the name of the plant you're growing and start looking at the internet, yeah. And most of the things that happens, the diseases or insect appear in the internet, and it you've got to learn about it. So that's what I told you. There is a lecture only for knowing what the plant tries to uh, uh, give you, yeah? Uh, and that's why I showed in, in the picture that it could be a virus, it could be a, a deficient, deficient in, 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 uh, with the, I don't know what kind of element. It could be a, 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 a plant a, a disease, it could be a plant insect. But to know you've got, it, Experience, it's knowledge, it's digging inside the books and the papers, and it's thinking with your head, like I told you. Take a round, start eliminating things, and you'll get to the point. I think it's uh, good enough for him. Thank you, Giora. Wow, it's interesting. Here we have people working at the moment in different uh, farms, or also here in Israel. So thank you, thank you for sharing in the chat your experience. Um, and look, we are on time actually, and yeah. uh, and there are some questions. For example, about um, how to apply. Uh, chemicals, pesticides, maybe, maybe we will be able to continue uh, yeah. and to, to, to have more uh, meetings, uh, trying to see the things from different points of view. Yeah. And I can already tell you that we have good news for next week. Okay. Uh, next, next week we will have, um, a new discussion on the same subject. We will host uh, engineer Guy Sela uh, with a presentation on introducing artificial intelligence uh, in agricultural pest and disease management. Uh, so keep 
the same day, uh, next Tuesday, same time, three o'clock uh, afternoon here in Israel. Okay, we will publish it anyway in our Facebook uh, page. So next week we continue discussing pest and diseases and, management. And, and, and I tell the director, yes, that we're going to make more uh, 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 webinars on the subject because when you talk about plant protection, you start today and you finish in one year. Yeah, but uh, thank you for listening. I uh, hope I uh, uh, gave you enough uh, uh, answers, but uh, you can always write to my uh, email and I always, uh, I always answer. Okay. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Now, before we say bye bye, uh, so some uh, news. So next week, uh, Tuesday, we have this um, new lecture on artificial intelligence. But on Monday, for those interested in um, uh, gender issues, uh, we will have also a webinar about integrating gender into agricultural development programs. Uh, so you are also invited to join. Uh, I have already put it, but I will put it again in the chat, our uh, emails, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, the um, uh, links to our Facebook and YouTube, YouTube page. So we are recording this meeting and we will let you know um, so in, maybe in, on Thursday the video will be already on on the page okay so have a look look at it and um, um, many people are uh, Giora if you are still with us many people are asking for the presentation uh, are we able to we will be able to send a, a PDF of your presentation. Um, so, yeah, your mic. No, it's closed. You're on mute. Uh, maybe I have to ask him because I... Yeah, okay. Sorry. Now, okay. Everything, everybody that wants this, I'm free to give to everyone. Okay, so we will uh, okay. send you the PDF. And um, and well, I think we, we want to thank you very, very much for joining us. We were here together, 260 people from all over the world. Uh, I don't know exactly from where, but we had people from Brazil, Till El Salvador, Guatemala, uh, Philippines, Rwanda, uh, Albania, Nepal, and uh, and a lot of and Rwanda. As I understand, we have a big group from Rwanda uh, taking part here. Yeah, great. No, and they were sitting in the classroom together. I understand. So hello to everybody there. Thank you very much for being with us. Um, and uh, have a great day uh, for those who are in the morning and a good night for those who are already in the afternoon. And uh, shalom, peace from Israel. We hope here and everywhere in the world. Thank you very much. Until next hour meeting, try to be with us again. Thank you, Ora. Bye. Thank you, Ora, for all your help. And thank you, everybody.